I'm in Sound and I saw Secondhand Lions. It is written and directed by Tim McKinley's. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This was requested by Patreon for like a fast track of movie review. You can do that at patreon.com slash ASC presents on with the review. Okay, the movie starts and the first thing that I noticed is how campy it is. It's it's very chill paced is the best way that I could describe it. So it's it's a family friendly film. It's wholesome. And so I came into this and I was like, oh, wholesome family friend, friendly film. Er. <laughs> Honestly, I just gotta be honest about that. And so like at the very beginning, I was like, okay. And I'm like, okay, I can, I can see why people like this movie so much by the end of it, but at the very beginning, we get some dialogue with the mom and the child, and the mom's obviously like stretching herself thin, she's like complaining about life, and the way that she's doing it, it's pretty interesting. I find it fascinating that there's a lot of like, oh yeah, exposition, 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 but I thought this movie would be like exposition the entire time. No, that's just to set up the premise, and so it's not exposition heavy, so that's good. So we get to this this young man, alright, this guy is like, you know, I don't know how old he is, 12? If I had a guess, 12 years old. He's on this uh, two uncles property, and I'm like, oh man, this is so progressive. We got some two guys, they're just having a chill time. They're like heterosexual life mates. That's pretty cool. Anyways, so I like the two uncles. They're like, yeah, we don't got any TV. <laughs> we don't got any uh, other things like phones, modern conveniences. What's that? And I like it because this guy, this teenage kid, preteen, I guess, he has to deal with not having TV or phone. And so he's learning to lay the land, live the land, live the land, be on the land that you live on, and you know, learning about stuff like hard work and such. And I find it fun that we have the uncles like to shoot things and they like to do fun, restless activities. Like, if, at one point it seemed like they were wrestling like an alligator, or at least he was doing a bunch of pew, pew, pew. With, I couldn't tell what was in the water, but they, they were fighting it. And it was pretty fun because I liked seeing uh, the young and he's just like having a chill time. He's just like with the dogs and <laughs> just watching him just wrestle a, a, a fish, an alligator, or he said alligator, uh, a shark. Was there a freshwater shark here for him to wrestle? Did he just wrestle over it? This kid, he's just waltzing around he's just like oh, i want to have some fun but i'm also going to learn what it is to be a man and i'm like i like this lesson this is actually cozy paced personally i don't need it because i'm an adult i'm not very big into wholesome films and i already know what it's like to be a man I do like the montages of showing farm work. At this moment in the in the in the movie, before I was like converted back to be like, oh, I actually like this movie because it's wholesome. I watched like during the middle part. I'm like, man, this is really like uh, farming uh, pornography. You know, like how food porn exists. You have a uh, farming porn. It's just like you farming. <laughs> and this is like anyone who hasn't like actually farmed who wants to know what farming's like is, would watch this and be like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. Or maybe they do be like, oh, actually, I do want to try farming. And then they try farming after watching this uh, movie. And that's just what I thought. OK, that's the interesting thing is that's what I thought. Also, I like how the mom eventually comes back around, picks him up after like his summer at his uncle's. He appreciates, uh, Walter appreciates his time with his uncles. I like that. He learns, he comes to an understanding with them. He's initially like hesitant, but then he's like, you know what, actually, I understand. You give me a lot of lessons, a lot of hard lessons that I'm glad that I experienced these things and I'm glad that you taught me. And then we have the mom picks him up. And of course the mom uh, isn't, isn't necessarily taking care of herself. She literally has like, it, it, she won't admit it directly, 
but by Walter's like, hey, you, you getting hit by your boyfriends? And then she'd be like, no, your business, which means yes, by the way. Anything that isn't a no is a yes. That's my rule of thumb. So of course, he's like, eh, eh, no. And then Walter's like, you know, I, I, I get it. I'm here. And then here's a little bit of a confusing part. Maybe I missed something, but it was interesting to see that Walter chose to live with his uncles. And then a time skip after that point, uh, he, it shows him being like a big old artist man guy. And then he gets a call that his uncles have passed away. So he goes back to the property and then a popo man be like, oh, hey, look at all this stuff that he gave you. It looks like he had a nice long life. He enjoyed his life. And I'm like, I, okay, all right. Honestly, at the end of the movie, I just felt like it was just running too long. I was like, I, I understand the point. Uh, I'm not a wholesome person type of guy. I like, I like sick things. And so seeing this wholesome, I'm like, man, this is sickingly sweet. <laughs> I would show this to a kid. Like, I, I think a kid would have more value out of watching this than I would, but Eh, it's good. It's pretty good. I like the shots. The editing is um, pretty good. I liked it. There's a there's a moment where I, like I noticed like okay so I prefer movies that when they have like a character on screen it's just one on screen and like one of the characters adhering to like the uh, the left side of the rule of thirds. I just wish it flipped back to a guy being on the right side on the like on the rule thirds on the shot, like in a conversation. Like I didn't really notice that, so that was just something that bugged me. But otherwise, I didn't notice the editing, so that's good. Good job. Uh, that's a good sign of editing. Also, I just I, I like the acting. It's kind of campy. I would say that especially at the beginning, it's like. The, the freaking uh, Walter's performance is like, you don't have television? And I'm like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay, good job. You did it. <laughs> that was honestly my reaction. I enjoyed this movie. I think it's pretty wholesome. If you like wholesome things, you like this movie. What do you think of this movie? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite part? I gotta give this movie like a solid, like uh, it's like a 7.4 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. YouTube really likes that. If you want a fast track to move review, you can do that for $20 dinos at patreon.com slash ASU presents. And if you want to help support the daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree, find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So go here and until next time in South Saw. I'll see you later, my sad croutons and bigabits. Mm -hmm.